Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're on the 05 level of the superstructure in the SPS-49 equipment room. So this space has a ton of the electronics uh, that form the heart of the air search radar set, the one that we normally have rotating. So with all the electrical equipment in here, there's also a ton of signs. Uh, I can see at least four signs that say waveguide do not strike. And there's all sorts of other safety signs and whatnot. Now, one of these, I've worked here for six years. I spent a fair amount of time in this room when we were working on getting the radar rotating again. And I'd never noticed it before because there's so many signs. Uh, so we're going to cover the Ten Commandments of Electrical Safety. So I'm going to channel my inner Charlton Heston and we're going to Moses this stuff up. The interesting thing here is it's mounted on the side of an air handler unit between electrical or electronic safety precautions and safety precautions electrical. So in the 80s when they updated this room for the SPS 49 equipment, they just threw all of these uh, metal signs in here. So uh, without further ado, commandment number one, beware of the lightning that lurketh in an uncharged condenser, lest it cause thee to bounce upon thy buttocks in a most embarrassing manner. Commandment number two. Calls thou the switch that supplieth large quantities of juice to be opened and thusly tagged, that thy days may be long in this earthly veil of tears. Commandment three. Prove to thyself that all circuits that radiateth and upon which thou worketh are grounded and thusly tagged, lest they lift thee to a radio frequency potential and causeth thee to make like a radiator too. Commandment four, tarry thou not amongst those fools that engage in intentional shocks, for they are not long for this world and are surely unbelievers. Commandment five, take care Thou useth the proper method when thou takest the measures of high voltage circuits, so that thou dost not incinerate both thee and thy test meter. For verily, though thou hast no plant account number and can be easily surveyed, the test meter has one, and as a consequence, bringeth much woe unto a supply officer. Commandment six. Take care thou temperest not with interlocks and safety devices, for this incurreth the wrath of the division officer and bringeth the fury of the ship system command on his head. Commandment seven, work thou not on energized equipment, for if thou dost so, thy shipmates will surely be buying beers for thy widow and consoling her in certain ways not generally acceptable to thee. Commandment eight. Verily, verily I say unto thee, never service equipment alone, for electrical cooking is a slow process, and thou might sizzle in thy own fat upon a hot circuit for hours on end before thy maker sees fit to end thy misery and drag thee into his fold. Commandment nine. Trifle thee not, with radioactive tubes and substances, lest thy commence to glow in the dark like a lightning bug, and thy wife be frustrated and have no further use for thee except for thy wages. Commandment 10. Commit thou to memory all the words of the prophets which are written down in the 64th chapter of thy Bible, which is the nav ship's technical manual, and giveth out with the straight dope and consoleth thee when thou hast suffered a ream job by thy division officer. So there it is. Uh, that is an actual metal sign that is adhered to the bulkhead, among other safety signs, here in one of the radar rooms on Battleship New Jersey. Uh, the, the fact that it is printed on a metal sign like this in the same format as these other safety signs leads me to believe that it's not a one-off sign and it probably shows up on other ships and may well show up on this ship in other places. 
Uh, so if you've ever seen something like these commandments of electrical safety on your ship or on another museum ship you visited, um, or some other similar style of thing in your own field, let us know in the comments section down below. It brings me great joy to read those sorts of things. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate uh, to Consoleth Thy Widow <laughs> and support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us in the channel. Thanks for watching.